older kids, sometimes incorporating things like my dad, when we were growing up, my brother's one time learning about engines, kind of interested mm, in physics mm-hmm. and engines. Right. So he took the old lawnmower was broken. He said, well, come on, let's take it huh. apart together yeah. and see if we can fix it, mm-hmm. um, which really applied a lot of the stuff they were learning. One mm-hmm. of the brothers, I think he ended up even making a 4-H presentation about the project, you know, wow. presenting mm-hmm. what he had learned. Um, but just a fabulous experience that they really could apply right some of those, yeah yeah some of those principles um and mm-hmm. then i know you and i were talking briefly before about soap making but oh yes yeah we My tried making mm-hmm. soap a few years ago and the first time it was a disaster it didn't set up <laughs> and we went back and like looked at the chemistry and realized you know we were confusing like fluid ounces with weight ounces when we were oh, putting in the liquid you know we yeah. went it's a learning experience. Yeah. But mm-hmm. again, pull out the chemistry book, go back through. One of my brothers is a chemist, so we had mm. to help us out. And he's like, what do you mean you confused it? Why would it change the, you know, <laughs> from from weight ounces mm-hmm. to fluid ounces in the same recipe? And we're like, well, I don't know. We didn't think about it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but just, uh, you know, applying those kinds of those principles you're learning and really putting them in. And I mean, mm-hmm. you're... You get your soap proportions off and you have a disaster. Right. Yeah. So, but it's a learning experience all, all the same. But a learning experience yes. as well a disaster. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Uh-huh. You just have a lot of liquid soap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so again, like, like I said, just looking at what your kids enjoy, looking at what yes. kinds of things you're mm-hmm. studying and just how can you make this hands on? How can mm-hmm. you work this into an activity and kind of, be a little bit spontaneous with it. Right. Yeah. You know. And just looking around your environment where you're at. I mean, a lot of the things exactly. I'm hearing hearing you describe, you know, it's just, it's in the house. It's in the backyard. It's in the basement. Yes. Um, we don't have to go have to far. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't have to be expensive. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be something that's going to cost a bunch of money. It doesn't have to be a fancy kit. You can just right. do it at home with what you've got. Mm-hmm. 